Hey, I'm Rowan Willis and I'm here in an unusual spot as the <laughs> interviewer um, for the Horse Talk Show and with my Australian friend, David Cameron. Hey Rowan, thanks for having me. It's, uh, yeah, it does feel a bit strange to be interviewed by you, but um, <laughs> I'm sure you'll take it easy on me, mate. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> so we're lucky enough to be in sunny Florida and have been competing at... Well, we've done three shows in the last few weeks. Yep. Um, so, David, how come you've come over to see me, mate? <laughs> well, I uh, wanted to come to America and, and compete and uh, bring a couple of horses and, and sort of experience it over here. Uh, it wasn't the best time to come uh, during COVID, but in some ways it was a good time because there wasn't much happening in terms of jumping in Australia. Uh, made it a bit hard though. I had to come solo. I couldn't come with my wife or and and with staff or anything. So that's been a bit different uh, to, to do that. Uh, but it's been a great experience. It's been fantastic and weather's good. And uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's been a really fun few months. So. Yeah. And what have you thought about the competitions over here, especially compared to Australia? Ah, look, the the competition is um, is very very good. The you know the amount of shows, like you said, we've done three shows in the last couple of weeks. Uh, uh, so many shows on each weekend, so much prize money. Uh, you know, Australia is a really good place to produce horses. Um, we've got some really good shows and good level jumping, but we don't have the same amount of shows and nowhere near the same prize money. Uh, so you know, it's it's pretty cool to come and uh, see the top sport and um, yeah. Uh, Akala is a really good place to base from. You've, you've got some great shows this time of year, so it's yeah, it's been been really cool. Very good. And you've had enough fun that you're going to um, think about coming back next year, mate. Yeah, I think we'll definitely come back. We want to do what we originally planned, like bring the, the whole team over and, and do that. And uh, you know, and I do think uh, it's a good. You could probably base sort of your top horse here and go back and forth a little bit. I think we'll try to play with that idea. Uh, but yeah, like in terms of you know. The amount of shows you can do in a small period of time it's it's a very very good place to come so yeah mm. so when your your team what's your team consist that you think you'll um bring over next year both kind of horses and people yeah so um i'll bring my wife definitely i'm not coming without her again <laughs> i don't think i'll get away with that <laughs> but uh we'll bring sort of probably four horses i'd say uh sort of uh nine ten year olds uh, that that will jump the Grand Prix here, I hope, uh, and then uh, we'll bring a couple of clients. We'll bring um, uh, two or three girls we teach, and and a, and a couple of horses for them, uh, and, and yeah, and come and do that. Uh, you know, it'd be just a, a good thing to, to do. Not I don't think many I don't think anyone's really done it like that from Australia, bringing the team over to do it. But I think it's a it's it's doable, and it's a very good time of year to do it in Australia because we don't actually have many shows on because it's our summer, um, from sort of December through to February anyway. So uh, if you come over and you do this, you know, the horses get here in December, you stay through the end of the March, it's, you know, it's, you can do a lot of shows in, in three months. And, uh, yeah, I think it's um, it'll be yeah, a good experience for the, for the riders, horses. You know, it'll be, yeah, worth doing. Very good. Well, we look forward to having you back. Well, maybe. <laughs> we do. No, it's been very lucky for me because um, I've, had a bit of an injury the other week, so David was sitting around, not doing not doing much. <laughs> I won't tell Talara that <laughs> you were really busy actually, but um, yeah. So he came over to ride a couple of horses for me, and then um, mate, you've ended up riding riding all of mine for me. Yeah, yeah, it's been um, it's been really good. Like whenever you do these trips, it's really hard when you bring two horses and that's all you you've got. You're used to being at home and you have. A lot more horses and and clients and you know it is it is, it is tough. So it actually was a great add on to the trip. You know, uh, coming and you know. Well, me, you hurt him yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you lost my game, but <laughs> but uh, no, it's good. Like I got to do lots of showing, a lot of lot in the ring, and and uh, no, it's been really good. You know, you got some some good horses, so that that was fun. Uh, I got to ride Blue Movie, the famous carrots. So that was that was pretty cool. You know, I'm a show jumping. Die hard, so it was pretty cool to ride one of the superstars of the sport. Even though she did give me one moment where we di we didn't go, but <laughs> I heard I heard you got your money's worth. You you know you spent quite a while on her. Yeah, no, for anyone who wasn't there, 
she does this thing sometimes where you go in the ring and she won't go. She just walks in the ring <laughs> and stops. And she did that for about a minute and a half. So, so at one stage in my mind, I, I did think I'm going to have to get off and lead her out. <laughs> I couldn't go backwards, forwards. I couldn't go anywhere. So, but no, it was. Uh, but she jumped phenomenal. And it was a pretty cool experience to ride her. So, no, appreciate it. No, well, thanks, Dave. And that was certainly part of it. She was she was great for me yesterday. So, you must have done a good job there to to have her all prep for me. <laughs> And um, so what other experience have, have you enjoyed being out here? Oh, look, I just think seeing the um, top level sport, you know, I, I went down and did a couple of weekends in Wellington and, and you know, uh, that's just unbelievable. And, you know, the quality of horses is, is extremely high over here. And, uh, you know, one thing that's really noticeable is, is how much faster the Americans go, you know, yeah. in, in the jump offs <laughs> <laughs> and in the first rounds. So, uh, you know, uh, you know, you've done pretty well to catch them a few times, but they, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, it, they're very, very quick and really high quality horses. That, that's been a bit of an eye opener. Um, but yeah, no, and I do think it's pretty funny how I've ended up here doing this with you where, you know, 19, we talked about this the other day, 19 years ago, I was going to go over to England and ride for you when I finished school. So it was pretty random. I didn't end up going, went to university, but it's pretty amazing how the world works. And I ended up coming back doing it 19 years later, which is yeah, pretty cool. Geez, I thought I was pretty late and slow, but mate, I think that's, <laughs> that's even better than me. <laughs> yeah, mate, one thing I have noticed is yeah, you are normally late and slow. <laughs> Uh, well, at least I get going though, and sometimes. Exactly, exactly, that's true. I have waited in a fair few warm-ups where Rowan's going to be there in five, and <laughs> times ten, and then I move back in the order. <laughs> but no, all good. Yeah, so you've seen a few different shows here. So, um, so you've jumped at four different shows in Florida then, and seen a few sights, and been to the beach, mate. Yeah, I went to the beach. Uh, yeah, that was that was an experience. Everyone should go once. <laughs> uh, it's a different place after 10 p.m. I learnt, uh, but no, no, a lot of fun. But no, no, yeah, done three shows. Done Wellington. I've done Weck. You know, Weck was amazing to see. It's probably the the best facilities I've seen anywhere in the world. It's so modern and well thought out. Uh, it's pretty pretty amazing. And then uh, Hits. And then we did a cool little show down at Venice, which was really cool. Uh, yep. Nice place to go and do. Um, yeah, and like as I said before, it's just amazing when you got uh, those shows with so much prize money week in, week out. It's it's good for um, owners and riders. It keep, keeps everyone keen, that's for sure. We can't encourage you to stay here and jump one in the million in a couple of weeks. Don't worry. Even even Talara, even my wife said that I should stay for another month. But uh, no, I've got told too many people I'm going home, so I've got to get got to go got to get back to work. <laughs> you really think they miss you, mate? No, well, unfortunately, I think that everything's going pretty well without me, you know. <laughs> so, so, you know so that, they might send you back sooner rather than later. They, they might, they might. I think she's in, uh, Talara's enjoyed a bit of uh, a bit of space from me. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's great, great to have you over here, Dave, and thanks for thanks for all your help. Um, and yeah, we look forward to having you back here in Acala next year, and. Um, and hopefully we look forward to Louisa getting better very quickly and joining us here at the table and keeping us under control. <laughs> thanks for having me, mate. No, it's been really good. Really enjoyed it. So, cheers. Okay, thanks, everyone. We'll catch you next time.